Welcome back to M. Ratthitch channel, the best place to learn table tennis. The video has the subtitle, please turn on captioning for better understanding. A cheap table tennis racket, under $40. I've just received a long email from a player. He shared with me his true story about his improvement. He won the Provincial Cup with a racket of less than $1.40. And we also learned that choosing the right equipment will help you improve like a rocket. So today I want to share with you his story. Cheap but effective table tennis racket, under $40. cheap but effective rackets. Then I saw your video regarding equipment. Then I decided to buy Galaxy N9S, DHS H2 on FH, and DSPF4 on BH. Not buying Stiga Blade because it was expensive, so I looked and was having window shopping on Revspin and bought N9S because it is 5 ply all wood that has a great review and the police construction is supposed to be soft in the inner three layers. Koto Basswood, Ayus, Basswood Koto, only Koto, which is hard and similar to Viscaria, outer plies, Although the RevSpin community said it was 6.9 on stiffness, the real thing N9S is even slightly more flexible than most N-series blades, which share stiffness scores around 5.0. So I was thinking this is the best buy for $1.10. I bought Hurricane 2, 2.15 mm, 39 degrees, Black Non Neo, and Unboosted since I thought whatever it is, it will go right or burst. So nothing to lose with such hard rubber. $1.18 here for Orange Sponge H2. Table tennis rackets, only $40. Backhand is PF 440 plus because it is cheap. Slightly softer than Hurricane since your shop only sells H2 or H3. Original version with orange sponge. With Neo variants, but they offer the rubbers with only one hardness type, 39 DHS degree, and one type of sponge thickness, 2.15 mm. Note, provincial and national version are different. I bought... PF4 and use it unboosted, which shares hardness similar to commercial Tenergy 05 compared with Tenergy 05 hard. I convinced myself because Ma Long and Shushin finally use DHS Hurricane on their BH. So I thought maybe if I use Chinese style DHS, which is softer than those two are using, will be okay. And also many great Chinese players of past use Shriver or Bryce on their BH. So PF4 is also rumored as in one class and one era of Shriver, Mark V, and Mendo. The backhand is PF4, 40 plus 2.15 mm, around 36 degrees red, unboosted. DHS Hurricane 2 is a very good forehand rubber, Clara, buy online. The total is around $40. Just before this, I bought two sheets of 9000D for $5 each by brand new rubber. Since I saw it is tacky, glued it to N9S. But soon after, I discovered they are too soft. Then I changed to H2 on FH and PF4 on BH. Total weight on N9S plus H2 plus PF4 is around 190 grams, which is much heavier than the previous setup I ever used before. I currently am being dormant in guitar was being active for 12 years and resuming playing table tennis after pausing for 12 years. Three years experience starting around 15 years ago when I was nine years old. I would like to thank you really much for your passion for educating, showing us the Chinese or the better way of table tennis playing and your will and effort into growing one's progress in table tennis. I was skeptical at first regarding your equipment suggestions since I had a bad experience of friendship RITC it was a slow rubber and we never re-glue every session. So on the first three hours was great and it turned into very dull. On the next day shall no re-glue applied. My dad bought me Kong Ling Kui Special 3 Plus 2 LC anatomic handle, black tag circa 2003, paired it with a pair of Bryce 2.1 MEM sheets and switched to pair Bryce FX 2.1 MEM sheets after FX version was released. Tried Butterfly Flextra though for once and some TSP rubbers. Some Donic and Tibar rubbers as well, perhaps. Speed glue, no fun at all. And the worst thing is dead re-glue with 
inferior speed glue and red glue once in two weeks. At that time, Dad and I didn't notice the short duration of speed glue's effect. So at first three hours, I was happy whatever the rubber is, and the next days were like torture when my dad yelled spin and brush that ball. The only TSP had the best among worst spin after the glue effect is gone at that time. I was lucky to win the city and provincial baby cup in my country, but table tennis was like a nightmare and crap. No fun at all, I was a blocker, able to block and to loop only at the beginning, but really in doubt because didn't understand the benefit of spin and didn't able to spin well. The carbon blade is hell. What can I expect by having a pair of Bryce on a carbon blade for a 12 years old boy with no knowledge and no ability nor feeling of brushing spin? It was really a nightmare when dad yelled at me to spin while I only get the mediocre feeling for 3 out of 20 balls by that carbon Bryce setup. I was so frustrated, cried a lot and it was happening for 3 years. Every day of table tennis practice is just like being in jail or hell. Jail if nothing bad happens, hell if my dad yelled at me. Then come 12 years of classical guitar career and I became 15 international awards winning guitarist and composer under my dad's teaching which I felt far better instead of my previous table tennis career in my childhood. I started to have spare time and started again to play table tennis. Worst setup ever. Oh, another trouble. Dad bought me Galaxy T6S, which was totally devastating for my touch. Paired it with Donic Barracuda on FH and BH, then switched to 729 Focus 3 Snipe on forehand and RITC 2000 on backhand. Worst setup ever. I really hate to employ RITC 2000 and using it as dead blocking rubber. Worst setup ever. Barracuda, Galaxy T6S. Hell no more. I play with this. I was severely frustrated. The champions congratulation, things getting better day by day. Although on the first two months many times had ball landed on the net due to lack of power caused by poor technique, that is missing power from the ground concept or ball drift too far due to no brush and or no acceleration on impact. But after I fixed some of my techniques by watching some of your videos regarding technique and strategy and also tactics, I got better. Now, after putting effort on setup based on your suggestion for five months, today I beat the provincial number one player of 80s era, which is still considered as terror in my province. I'm really surprised, yet everybody is, and even that 80s champion congratulated me. He's a blocker that is considered a wall. Many loopers failed on breaking his barrier and turned into lobbying during the game. Today, I loop killed him from both wings, beat him three, two with 11, six on the final game. Thank you very much, coach. I enjoy the progress that I achieved with the, the help of my dad. He's still giving advice and your suggestions. Are... Warm regards, Stephen. Read more about table tennis on my blog, pingsunday.com. Get free ebook and coaching advices. See you in the next video.